All right. Here's our second lesson. We're going to be talking about rectangular prisms. Um, for those of you who haven't finished your IXLs, this might be really helpful to you. For those of you taking regions, this also might be helpful. And those trying to complete the packet, also helpful. All right. What we've done is created these simple steps for you to follow in order to figure out how to do these. Okay? All you have to do is figure out, follow the steps on the left-hand side every time, and you'll be able to find the volume and surface area. Just follow these steps along with us, okay? So what we're trying to do is find the volume and surface area of a rectangular prism, okay? To do that, I'm going to start with step one. I'm going to just draw and label the base of this, okay? And what the base looks like is if I were to draw it, is a rectangle, right? It's a rectangle. This is the base over here. That's the base, that's the bottom part. Well, what are the side lengths? That's what the labeling part is. Well, the length looks like it's 13, and the width, well, it's either three or five, and you can see that, well, right here, that's the width, so it's three. Five is the height. All right, second part. Now that I know what my base is, I'm gonna to try to find the area of the base. Well, to do that, I'm going to need the area formula. So I look it up from the last lesson. And to find the area of a rectangle, I just have to do the length times the width. All right. So let's find the area. Now we're going to actually plug it into the formula. That's going to be 13 times 3. And so our base, the area of the base is equal to 39. All right. Good. Cruising along here. We found the area of our base. Now we're going to try to find the perimeter of our base the, using the perimeter formula. Well, to do that, we're going to need the perimeter formula. So we look it up from our last paper. Perimeter equals 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. Well, once again, our length and width are the same. We're still using the perimeter of the base. So the length and width are the same. So it's 2 times 13 plus 2 times 3. Let's see, that's 26 plus 6. So the perimeter is going to be equal to 32. All right, I got the perimeter now. All right, we got our perimeter. We got our base. Now, the last part is to find the height. Well, let's look at our picture right here. Remember, the height is 5. So we'll just state there's no calculating to do. The height is just 5. All right, now that I got my three variables, I got my base, the area of the base, I got my perimeter, and I got my height, I'm good to go. So step one for this, now to find the volume, is just to write out the volume formula. And if I look over at my volume sheet, it says volume is equal to base times height. Well, what the hell does that mean? Oh, it just means I have to take my base, which is 39, and multiply it by the height which is 5. That's why I did all this. It all makes sense. So the volume is just going to be equal to 39, which is the base, area of the base, times the height, which is 5. When I do that, what do I get? Let's see, I'm going to try to do this in my head. That's equal to 200 minus 5, 195. Boom. Respect that. So the volume of this is going to be 195. And we have to put the units here. And since it's centimeters, don't forget to put centimeters to the third. Why third? There's three dimensions. All right, now to find the surface area. We look up the formula. To find the surface area, it's the perimeter times the height plus two times the base. All right, once again, that's why I did all this. Now I have all the information. So the surface area is going to be equal to 32, which is my perimeter, times five, plus two times the base, which is 39. All I'm gonna do is plug this straight into my calculator and see what I get. Well, let's see. And it looks like my answer is 238 centimeters. Don't forget the unit. And for this one, we just put squared when we're doing surface area. All right, so that's how you get your volume surface area. You just calculate these things, the area of the base, the perimeter of the base, and the height, and you should be able to plug in perfectly. Let's try something for a cube now. Look at this guy. So 
Let's look at this. We only got one number in this, 24, which means it's a cube. So first step, let's draw the base. Well, what's this? Oh yeah, it's a square. So each side has 24 on it, okay? That's what we learned about squares. All four sides are the same. All right. We're going to now try to find the area of the base. After I've drawn the base, which is a square, I'm going to try to find the area of the base. So I need the formula. Well, if you remember, area is equal to the side squared. So to find the base, all I need to do is take the side, which is 24, and square it. This gives me, when I put in my calculator, B equals 24 squared, 576. Ooh, that's a big number, but it's right. All right, that is the area of our base. The second thing is to find the perimeter of the base. So once again, find the formula. The perimeter is equal to four times the side. All right. To find the perimeter now, we're just gonna do four times 24, because our side length is 24, which gives us 96. Okay. So that's our perimeter, and perimeter is equal to 96. Finally, the height. Well, in a cube, length, width, height, everything's the same. So the height is just equal to 24. Well, now I just have to plug into my formula. Well, to find the volume of a cube, it's the same thing as a rectangular prism. So volume equals base times height. Okay. The base, which we found out, is 576. We multiply that by 24, which is the height. And so we get V is equal to, let's put in the calculator, 576 times 24. Woo, that's a big number. 113,824. Don't forget the units, centimeters to the third. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, to find the surface area, it's the same formula again. To find the surface area, it's just going to be the perimeter times the height plus two times the base. So we just look up on the left side. What do we got? Our perimeter is equal to 96. Oh. Our height is equal to 24 plus two times our base, which is 576. Put this into the calculator. That's all you got to do here. So it's 96 times 24 plus two times 576. And we get 3,456 centimeters cubed, squared. And that is how you find the surface area formula, uh, volume. Guys, remember, make sure you're following all these steps. If you're not doing these steps, you probably will get it wrong. You write the formula, plug everything in, put it into the calculator. All right, just when you think we're done, we're going to try one less problem, okay? This one is called a back solving problem because I call it back solving is because they tell you the volume in the que question. They tell you the volume of this prism is 24. We want to find the volume of C, which is supposed to be right here. To back solve, you use the same exact steps as you did before. All right? That's it. It's actually exactly the same. And just follow me. I'll show you how this is done. The first one is to draw and label the shape of the base. Well, the base is down here, right? So that looks like a rectangle to me. All right? Now, this side looks like my width, so that's 2. And this side over here, that looks like my length. So it's just C. I don't know what it is. They just gave me C. Now i got to find the area. So find out the area formula of a rectangle. is just length times width. All right? And so my base is just going to be 2 times C, which is just equal to 2C. All right, that's my base, the area of my base, 2C. I know it's not a number, but that's all the information they gave me. Now i got to find the height. The height is equal to, let's see if they gave that to us. Yeah, they gave it to us. It's 3. All right, now that i got all my information, I'm going to plug into my formula. So the volume formula, because this is talking about volume, the volume formula is just equal to base times height. Now here's the tricky part. 
you have to plug in what you know. What we know is that the base is equal to 2c, 2 times c. We know our height is equal to 3, so it's 2c times 3. But we have to set this equal to something, and we actually know the volume. They gave it to us. Since they gave us that information, we're going to plug that in too. So our volume is equal to 24. From here we just solve, so we get 24 is equal to 6c, and it's multiplied 2 times 3. Divide by 6, divide by 6, and we get c is equal to 4. So the main thing here is nothing changes in how you solve this. You still fill out all this information. You just make sure to plug in your volume for your V. All right, guys. Good luck.